Hey guys, so um, what the hell? <laughs> I don't know how these guys got out, but they did. Um, so after uh, um, after I uploaded the video, uh, I invited some some people over to have a look at the the machine, and uh, this um this was uh, you know very helpful because they had a lot of helpful ideas. Uh, one of one of which was the um, the actual kill room, um, and the other was um, just the design of the individual levels. And um, as you can see with this kill room, we decided that um, it was better to use just the lava uh, with the stairs underneath, and that way the spiders can get through um, the bottom, and then they try to climb, and they hit the lava and die, and the uh, the other mobs also just die just from trying to hit it as well. So uh, as you can see, we we collect a lot of stuff with this. Um, it's pretty efficient, uh, and we don't lose any items, which is which is great. So that was the first real big improvement. Um, the reason why it's split like this is we do get a lot of uh, a lot of mobs coming through, mobs uh, coming through, and uh, they kind of get a bit jammed up if there's only one of these machines. So we have the two, and we have it. Um, the water flowing off in both directions, so they split up. Um, so, let me show you uh, kind of um, the machine, the size of it. Um, it's quite a bit bigger than the other one. Um, it's taller, it's got more levels. Uh, it's much more efficient use of the space. Um, so let's go to one of the corners. Uh, up here, this is uh, only four blocks away from the the um, the top of the world. So, if we were to put another level on here, we could fit it in, but then monsters would spawn above us at night. And uh, yeah, it, it it just means that this way we can make sure that they spawn all inside the machine. Um, I'm using the John Smith texture mat uh, texture pack. If you if you know what that is, so this is from up here. Uh, as you can see, um, it's it's again, you know, it's 144 uh, blocks in either direction. Uh, that's deliver deli deliberate because that's nine chunks in either direction, and the chunks are all the way from the top of the world, all the way down to uh, as as far as they can before we get to the water collection areas, um, which collect and direct everything into the the. Um, the, the, the grinder room and the grinder is uh, right on the bedrock it's it's just one one level above bedrock so it's it's as much as you can pack into uh, you know that that nine by nine chunk area there's there's no way you could you could fit more I don't think um, more spawning rooms or anything um, so this is from from on high um, I'll jump down there just to give you some perspective about how big it is. Um, oh, I'm never going to get up on my... Uh, I have cheats. Alright. So yeah, this is... Uh, this is the machine. That's, that's all obsidian uh, around there, just to look impressive. Um, there's no real reason to have obsidian more than anything else. Now, uh, again, we didn't build this by hand. We used World Edit, um, which is a cuboid-style tool to um, to rapidly, um, you know, lay down the the design. Uh, you could do it by hand, and and I, I really think that um, you could build the middle chunk um, by hand, um, and you could start with just a couple of levels, and then you just grow it straight up, and then um, as you you know, have more time, you build more chunks around, more rooms, and uh, you just start at the collection level, and then you work your way up. So um, it would scale, and you could do it by hand. Uh, it's just that you know I don't have the, the time to do that kind of thing. I'm not quite that crazy. Um, I do want to show you inside the machine, um, which is going to be fun. So let's uh, let's go in there and have a look, and uh, hopefully the I won't get completely destroyed by. Um, uh, by the, the creeps. But what I will do is I'll turn save off first just in case they uh, they decide to uh, 
uh, blow a hole in the ground. Um, it should be all protected, but you never know. This is going to be a little bit tricky because I need to find a free spot. Ah, oh, here we go. All right, so here we are inside pitch black, uh, and that's why everything spawns so well in here. Uh, so let's get some torches. And I'll show you the kind of the design we've got with all of these these platforms. And you can kind of see it already, right? So we've got um, every uh, every chunk um, in the right in the middle has one of these these uh, pits, and we have um, just starting uh, from the edge. The water drags them down. Uh, the signs are there to stop the water from flowing off the edge. If the water flows off the edge, it kind of pulls down the bottom and messes up the flow down there. Um, and as you can see, there's uh, this stuff spawning, and they don't necessarily move around and drop off instantly. So you just kind of have to uh, rely on on them eventually hitting some water, and then they get directed. As soon as they do that, they get directed down the down the pit. Um, and as you can see. The roof is exactly three hi uh, height away, and we do that um, even in the channels. So the channels, um, when you that's the channel for the one above, right? So as you can see, so we, we're utilizing the space as much as you can. You do need three spaces, not two, between each floor, apparently. Uh, that was one of the recommendations we had. Um, and... Uh, yeah, that's it. And this is this is replicated, um, you know, nine times in uh, in each direction, and that works pretty well. Um, just take away all these torches. Probably don't even need to bother, but I'm a little bit obsessive compulsive. I think I think everyone who plays Minecraft is. All right, so let's let's take a little trip. So uh, I've got bot God mode on. I shouldn't die. Uh, All right, so we've made it down to here. This is all glowstone down here because I, I wanted to be able to to see, um, and the reason why I gave myself some rock, yeah, so I can stand on stuff. Oh come on! All right. Yeah. So <laughs> what we have here is um, basically. Uh, a, a step, a ramp, and there's water as you can see it flows down either side and it channels it down into this main channel in the middle and that main channel in the middle uh, it just uh, directs all of the the items and the the monsters down into the uh, into the grinder so anything that doesn't die from the fall it's gonna die uh, once it gets into the grinder um, yeah I'm not gonna go down uh, down with them because a uh, creeper might explode and, and take us all out. Uh, I just need to get rid of this. All right, and uh, this is this is the big empty space. This I couldn't think of what to do with this. Um, the reason why I've built a room around the grinder is because um, Death Raven, when he was in here, was lagging very badly. Um, so I just uh, I just did that for him. Um, God, it looks it looks crazy. Uh, so here we go. Here's the here's the grinder again, and here they are falling down. And so, uh, if you want to get an idea of the item rate, um, you know, I, I, this was this was um, done over 15 minutes, and we got nearly 5,000 an hour um, calculated from that. And this was another 15 minutes that he calculated yesterday, um, and we got a bit over 5,000 an hour. Um, and it's it's pretty. I think it's you know, I don't think you can get better uh, without uh, spawners. Um, so if you were doing this by hand, you you could get those kinds of item rates, because we're not we've not done anything that's impossible by hand. Um, 
So let's have a look at what's here. Oh, yep. Zoop. And lots of stuff dying and dropping items. So that's it. That's the that's the new design. Um, I hope you like it.